Here with Ataya Thetical, a Rolex first-time winner here at the JTBC Classic presented by Barbasol. Thrilling playoff victory over in Anacortes Madsen on the second playoff hole. Just take us through what was going through your head um, on that final green. Well, we'll say it's a lot. It's a lot of you know like thing going through my head. But um, one thing that I really want to focus is like just do your best every single shot. Just like um, if you lose, if you win, this is another chance to learn. So do your best every single shot. That's it. You're no stranger to success. Had a lot of it on the uh, on the LET last year, winning the Race to Costa del Sol Rookie of the Year and Player of the Year. Did you expect <laughs> to come out of the LPGA Tour and and nab a first win in your first few starts? No, no, no. I mean, everyone come here. They want to win. I want to win as well. But um, didn't expect that gonna become really fast as my rookie years as well. And uh, <laughs> It's just crazy in my mind right now. I cannot believe that I became like an LPGA winner, but it's feel amazing as well. Pajari and Arukarn stuck around. Um, you're now the sixth Thai player um, to win on the LPGA Tour. What does that mean to you and your team and your country? Well, when she, um, I was there when she got her first win in Ireland, and she was here. Um, when I got my first win as well, so it's really, I mean, it's really special that I have her here because we pretty close, close to each other. So, but the win, it's, it's really mean a lot. I mean, it's mean the world to to me to our team as well because I know my parents watching back at home. They support me. They're supporting me um, since day one. And then my manager is here, my coach, um, Caddy. I know that they're they're trying to get the best for me, like trying to find something the best for me every single tournament, every single day to making me better. And, yeah, my friends and my fans back to Thailand in here as well that support me. It's mean a lot to us. Awesome. We have questions in the room. Todd Leonard with Golf Digest. Um, if, we could, if we could just have you go on the mic, thank you. Congrats. Um, how many times had you played the golf course before this week, if at all? And I think you said something out there about you had tried to get in to the field before. Was that correct? or? You mean this course, right? Yeah. How many times have I played yeah. this course? This is my one. There, this is my first time playing this course, and then I don't think I trying to get into because I think my ranking it's would okay. get into already. Okay. Yeah. T tell me. So the the very first time you played was what day? What's what's the first? Day? Um, oh. Sunday. Okay. I play Sunday nine holes and Monday nine, and I drop Tuesday, and then play the pro am. What did you think of the course uh, when you saw it? As far as how it suited you? Tough. <laughs> I saw it tough. I mean, like, um, because of the rough as well. It's If you put the ball into a rough, so it's kind of hard to get into the green in the position that you want it. But um, the green, I mean, the good thing for me today is because I don't think of too much when I pot because the green is kind of like you have – you cannot take anything personally in the green. So just, like, be patient. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the round today, you talk about being a tough golf course. So can you talk about the round today, how you got it going, how you kept it going? What was the mindset? Yeah. Um, like I said, for real, it's in the back, in the front night, it's it's fine. I just keep making birdie as much as I, I can. And... But, like, in the back, it's, it's a lot of things going through my mind as well, because, if I'll be honest, because I came close, like, a couple of times to to make the win, but I didn't. I didn't get the job then, but today I just um, think I'm like, just do your best. Just do as you, you do every single time. Do everything the same routine. And, yeah, it's work. The playoff, you hit the incredible shot in on the first playoff hole. Um, what was the yardage on that? What club did you use? I used eight irons with 156 yards. 
And then the putt itself, um, what were you feeling and what were you seeing on the putt? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm nervous, uh, for uh, to be honest. Because I know everyone should like to be nervous every putt that you, they're going to make the win. They're going to win the tournaments. But I'm trying to focus on what I do right now, like right there time. I want to ask, you've won uh, so young at so many levels, and, and people try and try at different ages, and they can't ever win, or it takes them a long time to win. Why have you been so successful so early in your life at winning at every level? I would say it's, it's a lot of things. I mean, um, yeah, first thing, it's you. Um, and your technical, your mentality, your physical. But I don't think it's like you get into play. I, I have been playing into a, in, in so many professional tournaments. So I, I can get all the experience from that, how, how to improve myself. Because back then, I'm not like this. My game is not like this. My game is like one shape. I can't like chip shot anything. I can't do anything like with my my game that much. But I learn from from all the professional that they play on tour because the pin position here is not that easy that you can can get it through. And then yeah, trying to learn experience can give you here. And then um, I will say all the people surrounding me as well that they trying to pushing me up and making me a better person to be here to be winning like at a tournament as well. Ken? You mentioned at the start of the week how important consistency is to you and you've demonstrated that at every level you've played at. What work have you put into your game? And what part of your game do you credit for being so consistent at such a young age? I would say every part of the game it's important but now I have been um, working about, I'm not a good chipping like putting as well. I, I'm not a good at chart games. So I think if you want to be out here in the in LPJ, you I have to improve on like the shot game as well. And like I said before, um, trying to work with my shape shot to to get like um, the aggressive. You can be aggressive in the pin because like if you not be aggressive, like. You just put in a safe position every single time. You couldn't reach the the high level or the high score that you can make. Is there any work you spe specifically did on your short game ahead of this week? Not pretty much this week because um, chipping area is not <laughs> that big as I can. But yeah, like I said, um, for putting this week, like I said, just be patient. And I'm pretty good for being patient this week as well. You mentioned you learn from the other professionals as you've grown up through here. Is there any one particular lesson you learned from them that's really stood out, that's credited to your success? I would say everyone. I mean, everyone have like, their own games. And their own, like, someone is good with this, someone is good with that way. So everyone have been... Um, improvement inspiring me to, to be a better person, to be an LPJ and to getting better. Awesome. You talked about your short game um, and your putting not being super strong. You only had 24 putts today. I don't know if you realize how great that is. I did? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, at Aviara Golf Club, that's ridiculously impressive. What did you mm -hmm. find today on the greens that really helped you? Mm -hmm. But for real, I really like the, um, how, how do I say, the layout. The, how it's look and for the putting I have no idea that I had 24 <laughs> today I mean I didn't call it I just kept on rolling it because I know and um three round that I play I don't I didn't make that much if you can see like especially yesterday I hit it pretty close, but I miss it. <laughs> but today, I just like, oh, come on, <laughs> be patient, just keep rolling. And then it's it says some part that I I thought it's gonna miss. I thought it's like, but it's came in. <laughs> and I saw like, oh yeah, take it. Awesome. We'll go back to the room, Todd. Just wanted to ask, um, since you've won at every level, how much more important is it to you to now get this first LPGA win? You know, when you when you were a much younger kid dreaming of the majors or the 
determined she would win. How much of that dream was the LPGA a part of that? Well, it's a, it's I think it's mean a lot when you were young and then um, have a dream to one day you want to become like a LPGA member. Uh, one day you want to win the LPGA tournaments, and then I think it's mean a lot that. And it's quite really good that you ha- you you have a goal. You set a goal, and you really want it. And you're you can do a thing like you can work harder to get it done. And everyone that I had, I mean, I'm happy every time that I I like won some tournaments. But um, just but still talk with myself like this is not your last answer. Because your last answer, your last goal is just want to be the LPJ member. So that's mean to you, but you have to come back and say, it's like if you win, you win just today. And tomorrow is just a past. So you have to keep working on it. Well said. Ken, Ken's got one more. You mentioned earlier that the tournaments you didn't win where you were close were on your mind. Do you remember what point in the round and what tournaments they were? When that happened today? Um, it's a lot of tournaments that I said, but the one that always in my mind, it's on the LPJ last year. Um, as you guys can see, just one shot like behind. Um, but I'm really happy that Ariel won the tournament because like it's she is the first um, Thai players that won tournament in our home country. But I would say. I'm not feel guilty at all. I'm not feel like oh upset or anything. Just I think that would motivate me to to be here, cause if I won that tournament, I I probably be in LPJ last year, but um I didn't. And then it's um kind of like I kind of like look back and thinking about it. It's like um if I wanted, I couldn't be on the LAT to get all the experience. Um, with all the challenging weather, challenging golf course on the European tour. And I couldn't have, like, experience to, to be here against all the best players in the world if I won at that time. So it's kind of more to win me. Was there any point in time you thought about the Honda LPG Thailand today while you were closing in? Not at all, because it's not the same. <laughs> I mean, here it's harder than that one. I mean, that one is hard, but the weather that I'm not really getting into it, I mean, in the payoff, like, it's kind of really cold for me, for, like, Thai people. <laughs> <laughs> well, last question for me and, and for, the, uh, for the conference. You head into the Chevron Championship next week as an LPGA Tour member, and now as an LPGA Tour winner. <laughs> How much confidence does that give you heading into the year's first major? I am gonna say, don't say that to <laughs> make me like <laughs> pressure on me. <laughs> but I will say, yeah, it's just like I said earlier, I win just today. You can be, the, I, I'll be the winner today, not tomorrow. Tomorrow, today is just a past. So I'm just, I'm trying to be in the, like trying to keep myself on a prison. Like, yeah, you are LPGA member, but not today at all. Just now you're normal person, normal players that play in other tournament. So just keep do what you're, what you're trying to do, what you're working on, and yeah. Perfect. Well, congratulations. See you next year.